Hello guys, I am Jitendra Chaudhary. Welcome you to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how you can make a professional-looking product slide. So, without any further ado, let's jump to the tutorial. So, I have a slide over here. So, I can operate this slide either by pressing the arrow keys on the keyboard or either by using any other button here. Okay, so you can see how cool it looks, right? So, you will be able to do this just within PowerPoint. So, without any further delay, let's jump to the tutorial. So I'll press Ctrl N to take a new document and I'll just change its layout to blank because we are going to create everything right away. So just to save a time a bit, I'll, these are just simple text boxes. I'm just going to copy these and I'll paste it over here. So there's no big deal uh, doing this, just text box and some text here. Now just to match the colors with the existing presentation, I'll take this color also so i'll paste these also okay so coming up to the product so today's product is uh, we have a earphone which i have uh, named it uh, as per the color black green red and white so these all are png which means uh, they are transparent only the object which you are seeing here is there so i'll import all this uh, together here so just select all the four and drag into powerpoint okay so you are seeing one here don't worry there are actually four they are just overlap each other okay so i'll just move them okay just you keep them like that and come to the home tab select and selection pane now first thing what we're going to do is uh, i'm going to name all the images so i'll select the white one and double click here i'll name it white photo okay just just let us give it white black uh, this is green And this is red okay so what I'm actually doing is when I when you click here you will get uh, one uh, box highlighted and just name it and red okay so now what we are going to do is we have to create some sort of button so if you see uh, the my previous work which I have done here is these are simple circles so we'll create only first or uh, initially we'll create only one slide and then we'll copy it so that it will be easier so I'm going to create some boxes over here for that come to drawing option and uh, you can explore here you have an oval shape press shift and drag okay and press ctrl d to duplicate it and just place somewhere over here and again press ctrl d and ctrl d so you have now four boxes now i'll uh, select the first circle over here and i'll come to shape fill and eyedropper and i'll take it white color so in the similar way, I'll select the second one and shape fill, eyedropper, black, third one, eyedropper, this, fourth one, eyedropper and select this red color. Now select all the four and make sure you come to outline, shape outline and choose it now. Now the problem here is you cannot see the white on white. So you can do two things. Let's add a shadow behind this. Okay. So that they will get uh, separated from the background. I'll select everything, shape effect, shadow, and I'll choose this option, offset center. So now you can see uh, the, the white circle that you took, it is now separated from the background. Another thing that you can do here is right click format background and you can just give a slightly off white color. Okay, so this is white and you can just choose 5% uh, darker. So uh, it looks even nicer. So that's done. Now there is some option. Uh, now we have to animate this. So wh what I'm going to do here is uh we'll select all these four and how much you want to resize just uh, resize accordingly okay now you might be wondering what i'm doing just give me a minute you'll get to know so come to format option align and just make it align middle and make sure that align selected object is selected come to align middle and align center okay so now what happened actually everything has been overlapped okay so these all are together but overlapped so i'll select all the four and just move it somewhere here this look nice to me now let's move further i'll just close this i think we should move it even more toward this side and increase the size okay 
so remember guys i have selected all okay so i have all selected all the four under this so it has all the four images just so i want to show you so that it should not be confusing for you okay so i'll do control z so now what i'm going to do is i'm um, press control i'll select the slide here and press control c and control v control v control v three times so that you have four slides so select this white circle come to action and you have a second option here called hyperlink 2 and you can choose slide and so just what what i'm trying to do here is when when this is clicked okay so it should be on slide one okay okay now when i click this okay so action mouse click hyperlink to second slide okay so you 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 may not be getting right now but uh, just give me a moment you'll get to know similar way select the third one action hyperlink to slide slide number three okay okay and then red action hyperlink to slide number four okay okay so what i'm going to do now is uh, let us just delete this okay from all the slides uh, and what you need to do since we did this on the first one so what just copy this control c and just to click select this press control v select this press control v select this press control v okay so what i'm trying to do here is when you click this you will be in the first slide when you click this you will jump to the second slide when you click this you will jump to the third slide and subsequently the red one when you click you will be the fourth one so second slide when i come now this is for black color okay so i will really delete this so again just to ease your work come to selection pane just remember just keep everything else other than black delete all the three colors so red delete white you delete and green also you delete so you have only black similar way when you come to third third stands for green so we'll only keep the green and we'll delete all the three okay similar way fourth fourth is for red color so i'll delete the remaining three and similar way in the first one also uh, it is for white i'll just keep the white so now our slide is done uh, let me just show you the preview so slide show yeah so white black green red okay so i'm just pressing keyboard arrows for your convenience and you can click here also black green red okay so whenever you click it jumps now let's add taste into the slides so what i'm going to do right click here format background so it is it is it is for black color right so i'm going to give it a little darker color just to just to give a theme or a feel to the customer so i'll give this dark color and this is red uh what i usually do i'll take color from somewhere here okay yeah this looks nice in case let's say you want uh, shades of this color so what you can do you can come to color here more color and you can adjust so you can increase its saturation or brightness or you can decrease it okay so i'll just keep a very light color here yeah looks nice to me similar way red so i'll give this red color in case you are not happy just click more colors and you can change the shade of this red okay so i'll just make it little light yeah and just to add a more taste to the slides i'll select all the four okay so just select all the four transition and give a fade transition okay so what happens now is this the when you jump from one slide to another there will be a fade okay so it, it, it won't be sudden so right green and red okay one more thing just just to give it more feeling okay i i thought of ending the tutorial here but just suddenly come to mind what you can do come to home and on the drawing tab you take oval again and just draw here so what i'm going to do is you got me right i guess i'm going to create a fake shadow okay so select this under shape effect you have soft edges 
and i go with the yeah this one i'll go okay so i'll go with this and make sure you don't have any shape outline and give shape fill you give the same color okay yeah looks nice just keep it a little close press control c to copy it paste it here don't mind i'll come back to that uh, to change this color control v and control v so change its color to somewhere around gray just to give it a feeling okay the feeling of depth and this i'll go with some sort of light gray yeah this looks nice and same with goes a green i'll give it green from the light yeah so let me just preview the final slide over here guys so you have white black green and red that's all guys for today's tutorial i i hope you like the tutorial uh very soon i'm coming with a, another tutorial on dashboard design in powerpoint 2 that is going to be a second video if you have not watched my first video on dashboard it's uh, doing really great on youtube i'll recommend you to go and watch and uh, i'll take leave for now thank you guys for your support and please don't forget to hit subscribe button and press the bell icon